Let's take a look here at our brand new micro underspins. I am personally pretty excited about this. Happy to share it with you guys because these things are absolutely little fish catching machines. Uh, they catch everything, panfish, crappie, bass. Um, makes your little bait actually stand out just a little bit more with a little bit added flash and action. So when these fish see these little baits with this little bit of extra action, uh, a lot of them just flat out can't resist it. So all we've done really is just taken kind of your traditional underspins that you see out there a lot on, you know, one aught and two aught hooks, and we've just downsized them. So here we've got a uh, number six, a number four, and a number two uh, sized underspin. We're doing just those three sizes for now. And the two smaller ones, the six and the four, are going to be on a 1 24th ounce uh, lead head there with a small little zero sized willow blade. Now the bigger size, the twos, are going to have a little bit bigger blade. They're going to have a size one blade and they're going to be on a 1 16th ounce uh, jig head. Now, you kind of have unlimited options as far as different colors and profiles and different types of baits you can fish on these. Um, so I'll just start here with uh, our larger ones. This one's here on the size 2. This is the new flat top minnow. So this one does not have a paddle tail. It's just got this little split tail minnow, or uh, split tail. So it has a much more subtle action. But this little uh, cut out little tail here. You can see there it's got little scallops taken out of it. Really give this tail uh, some action. So for the bigger sizes you can use between a three and a two inch uh, bait on this size two. And uh, no need to really fish these very quickly either. All you're really trying to do is fish it slow enough to get that little blade to flutter and to get a little action on your tail. So most of the time with a lot of these um, baits I like to fish them fairly slow myself. Um, but that's just my personal preference. Of course, if the fish want it burned back, you can certainly do that. And here, go up a size. This one here is the, the size four. And here I've got a Slim Shad minnow on this one. Of course, this one is the paddle tail. This one has an awful lot of not only tail action, but almost the body uh, rocks back and forth on it. So um, this is a confidence bait for myself. I fish an awful lot of these Slim Shads. They catch everything from all panfish to uh, bass. Same goes for that flat top minnow. Really big panfish will get a hold of that, but really with this you're more after crappie and bass with this guy. Something with a little bit bigger mouth, a little more meat to that, to that bait profile. Then we get into a few of our smaller profiles here. So this one is our two inch rip shad. Now of course you can throw one and a half inch rip shad on here uh, just fine. You'll want to use the size six for the uh, one and a half rip shad. This one here is on the four and it fits the two incher just fine. This one has a lot of tail action. Uh, pretty good, just all purpose searching bait. Uh, everything likes it. Panfish, bass, crappie, uh, everything will eat that little rip shad. Next we have the, the curly tail. This is the two inch curly tail. Uh, it fishes well on uh, the size four sized underspin, but I mean you could squeeze a six, could even fish, fit a two on there. So um, you could do the same thing probably with that slim shad as well. It'll fit a variety of sizes of the underspin. But this curly tail, uh, pretty cool little bait. A lot of action in that tail and uh, everything eats these two, bluegill, crappie, bass, uh, they all love them. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite baits. I haven't really fished uh, it much this year yet, um, but the few times I have, the, the fish were all about it. So a lot of times this Slim Shad isn't working for me. I'll switch to this curly tail. It has a little bit more of a longer drawn out action on that fluttering tail. Uh, I think it, that just helps get the, the fish's attention sometimes when this Slim Shad might be a little bit too subtle uh, right now it's spring here, so some of these fish want a little bit more action, a little bit more aggressive. So I've been going to something with a little bit more more action for a lot of my creek bass around here. Um, but earlier, before the spawn, this slim shad was was the ticket. So just kind of change it up, see what the fish want. And then that brings us, lastly, to the new Torkin minnow. Uh, this we really designed for 
panfish and crappie. Uh, bass will of course eat this, but you're going to want to fish this on the size 6 underspin, a smaller guy, and we have this in a ton of different uh, color combinations. This one here is the new zombie chicken. Panfish just go kind of crazy for it. I love this little setup if I'm just after panfish, and uh, yeah, you're going to be seeing me fish these a lot. Uh, I know Brandon, the owner, also likes pouring these. He, he likes to make them. So you're going to see all kinds of weird, wild combinations of colors that you've never, ever seen anywhere else and uh, that are straight up fish catching colors. So, yeah, that is the new micro underspin. I know when this video, when we first released this, it's our first batch, uh, we had to actually hand make these all ourselves. We had the heads custom poured here in the USA and then Brandon and I assembled all the pieces and parts and uh, we don't have very many in this first batch so if you're watching this video just as it's released and if you want some uh, you, you better get on it pretty quick because they're gonna go fast. Uh, we do have a second batch in the works and uh, we're, we're waiting on those and then we'll start putting them together when we get them but these do take us a little bit more time to make than um, of course some of the other things so yeah, that's just kind of the deal with USA Made Tackle. It's got to be put together by us one by one. So you can find these on our website, moondogbaitco.com.